This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and our accessories at zenroclothingco.com and be sure to use offer code SOCRATES at checkout for 20% off select items. Also, if you're not into uh, spending the money, just check out the Zenro Radio playlist, zenroclothingco.com, music for your everyday. This episode also is sponsored by The Pornian Bakery. If you're located in the Pornian area of Scarborough, Toronto, be sure to check out The Pornian Bakery, say what's up to Arville, and uh, pick up a donut or two. Baked daily, crafted with love. This episode also is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the podcasting platform of choice. It's the one that me and Vish use, and um, is great, you know? If you're uh, looking to start that DIY podcast yourself, definitely check out Podbean. Use uh, the link podbean.com slash Socraticgamers and gain one month of unlimited podcasting for free. Test it out, build that content. Uh, anyone can podcast, right, Vish? Yep. Start a, start a podcast and uh, get your ideas out there. All right, enjoy the episode. Okay, this is this is gonna be a weird one. This is be super philosophical because I just came off of getting back from that work trip, and I was playing these philosophical games by the end of it, and I was like, oh, a lot of people think similarly, and then it made me think that um, actually maybe just like push a distance a bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So, so anyways, sorry, we're just adjust, adjusting the mic there. Um, oh, this actually might be one of the last ones we're in the same room together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah before yeah, we will, like, will be probably. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it is. I, it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so I thought the last one was going to be last week. That's why I was like, that's why I messaged you. Cause I just come, came off the flight. I didn't know. Cause you say you were taking your computer. I was thinking, yeah, that, but it'll be this weekend. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I was like, like after this. Or like yeah. Yeah, yeah. So so I was like thrown off when uh when I saw it I was like, Oh, let's just do it together. But anyways. And that's why I asked for Sunday because I was like, let me set up um Oh, I see. Because well, I, I need to, I I gotta figure out the Discord thing. It's still on my computer. Like I know how to do it. Yeah, I just yeah. need to like practice run it really quick. Uh, yeah, I'm not in the new place till next week, but I have to set up the internet and other things. So I don't like we we'll see if yeah. next week happens or not. Okay, okay. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure that part out after yeah, wait, you'll have no internet at that? Wow, I was totally diverging from my philosophical uh, thought. But no, okay. no, no, I got, I got the internet. I just have to set it up. It's like a self-installation thing. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Because, I mean, you could still do, like, Discord on your phone for now. Like, I, ideally, I'd like... All right, well, we're just going into, like, logistics of this thing. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ideally, I'd like to do, like, video a bit because I like to see your face when we're, like, talking. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But th- we won't record that. I'm just saying, like, I'll just capture the audio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anyways, all right, that's a different topic for a uh, different time or like off air. That would be an interesting way because we're not always just looking at our face <laughs> or like. Oh, dude, it's so, it's gonna it's be so, so different. <laughs> it's well, I mean, I don't, I feel like I won't look at you when I we're don't talking, think so. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't really look at you now, but I look at you when I'm about to wrap up a thought and I'm going to see if you're going to say something next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we did it by phone, when we were like a remote in COVID, I didn't know when you were going to start talking. So right. it was kind of like, it was hard to do because it's like, like yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I can tell when you're about to say something. Right, I'm like, right, okay, right. I'll let you talk. Mm-hmm. But over phone, you can't really do that. No, Anyways, no. okay. So I'm back from Edmonton mm-hmm. and I was talking to these people. So basically we live in different parts of the world, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the world, sorry. Different parts of Canada. Well, I guess it is the world, technically, because uh, a country is a concept. But we live in different parts of Canada, and some of us have so much in common with one another. And I was like, is it nature or nurture? Or is mm-hmm. it energy now? And I think that's what it is. Like, all right, so we have a physical reality, right, that we all see, like tangible, like a superficial reality. Like, I like video games. I like movies. I like um, MacBooks. You you know what I'm saying? Like, there's there's superficial. And then it's like tactile. Like, I visually can see this. I Mm -hmm. can touch this, right? But I think there's an energetic layer to reality that most people don't really... um, tap into okay so let, let me let me let me preface that yeah so i didn't know these people were going to play this philosophical game with me because we were just in meetings mm-hmm. but then we went out for the last night we're not going to see each other again for like a while until we're on zoom because we live separate um but i was like okay let me let me just play this game right 
if I had looked at them superficially, the superficial layer, the physical layer of reality, I would have never known these, this about these people. Yeah. But then talking to them on an energetic level, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we're, this is why we're all working together. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize, like, because I was like, why are we all at this this initiative, this, yeah. like, job thing, right? Because not, it's not a standard type of job. It's like, we're trying to build something. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I know why I'm here. I don't know why you guys are here. Are you looking at his job or whatever, whatever. But then, like, talking to them philosophically, I'm like, oh, you're seeing the world the same way I see this, the world. Mm. And is that why we're here? And then made me think, is that what's really running the world? Energies? Not really the superficial layer. You know how they say, like, your vibe attracts your tribe or, like, stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's reasons why you apply to certain jobs and not other jobs. Totally. Right? Yeah, right. That's what I mean. You yeah. could have applied to anything. Yeah. But it's like you applied to that one. Mm -hmm. And it's like, why did you apply to that one? Mm -hmm. And then you go like to the like the energetic. I'll call it energetic because it's like phil philosophy is like a mind game, right? So it's like energetic. Mm -hmm. You can't see it. Like I'm looking at you. I would have never thought you thought the same as me. Right. Like on everything, like social constructs being an illusion and like death is the ultimate reality. We mm -hmm. can, Like I went deep. I was like, let me just see how far I can go with this game. And I was like, oh, we're all agreeing. Mm-hmm. So my, one of my questions is like, do you believe in free will or determinism? They're like, define free will. So I define free will. And they're like, no, that's, that's not real. And I was like, whoa, you see it. But I, I don't know you. <laughs> like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. how'd you come to this conclusion? Mm -hmm. Like, they didn't do YTTs or black belts or stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? right? Mm -hmm. So then it made me think like, what's really going on here? I, I think in... in but those are like uh, specific circles, right? So you would no, but but our lives, like, is our life run by energies? Uh, you would, yeah. It's, it's like things that happen to you that lead you in certain directions. Sure, but but that's that's what tripped me out because Edmonton. I would never live there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh god! I was <laughs> like, "What is this?" Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But some people loved it. They're yeah. like, "Oh!" And then one dude, um, the, there's two people I vibe really well. I mean, I vibe really well with all of them. But like, there's one guy. He's indigenous and he lives in Manitoba. Mm -hmm. and he's explaining like it's just flat land. And yeah. I was like, "So how do we?" No, like when I say vibe really well with like the stuff I knew about jujitsu, he knew too. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Well, that's weird." Mm -hmm. And then like video games he like honestly like he can come hang out with us and he'd be a perfect fit for I, our friendship yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of that is also to do with internet though right it's like where okay. even if you're not necessarily learning it like going to the things but technically he also lived in england so oh, okay. he, he's lived, so he's had he's had lots of experience right right, right. but i think a lot of this off, is well, you can see that a lot from the internet too like the groups that you find oh you okay you so maybe that, so i see that all the time right so a lot of people like I've seen these things where it's like they don't find necessarily someone um, like living next to them the same way thinking, but they will find people online that are all the same. But they all come from different parts of life. We we talked about this before, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like the internet being the great connector. Yeah. But I'm seeing it now like on a whole new level because mm -hmm. it's like how like if if it's nature and nurture, we are so far apart. Like. Mm -hmm. you, your your upbringing is totally different than mine you've seen things that i've never seen and mm -hmm. yet we click so well yeah and it's like how the hell did that happen yeah but, there's, but you're right yeah. like ser searching it out so but but that's what i mean about like but the energetic pull within him yeah to be like let me google this let me find more yeah he was talking about freaking quantum physics and then i was like oh i, I read more into that that's actually this mm -hmm. and he's like oh okay that makes sense yeah. and i was like but how, how did you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what drew you? I don't know. Like, <laughs> is energy ruling everything we see? Yeah, I think we have to define energy here. Like, okay, okay, all right. Great, great point. Because one person was talking about collective consciousness, which is something you and I have talked about. Mm -hmm. Like, But then I was like, I don't, I don't believe that. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I don't think that there are energies out there and we're, we're like, our mind is a radio wave receiving the energy. I'm okay. like, I think the brain is just a pattern recognizer. And then everything you've seen, 
you've like collected and just created a pattern in your mind, Mm -hmm. right? It's not outside of you. It's in your head. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You agree, right? Right. That's the the most logical. Like, I don't think we're radio waves. That makes no sense. Because where does the idea come from? No, 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 no. Right. But th- that made th- that clicked in her, and she's like, "Oh, that makes sense, right?" Because if that was the case, then you're gonna find more people. Like, it's like like whenever like I remember something like like these uh, what was it discovery like the evolution thing? Yeah, okay. It wasn't just Darwin. There was another guy at the same time. Yeah, that, that, but okay, but, but yeah. it's not like there was like more people of that. It was like those yes. two people were seeing the same patterns. So, um, or as you'd have like multiple people, not just like two people. But but people people. Um, people take examples like that and they talk about a collective consciousness. They're yeah, like, no, I don't agree. That no, doesn't make sense. It's just like, maybe it was just the perfect time. Like, they were seeing the same thing. Like, all of the right, input right, right. stimuli. Yeah, like, what was their, out. yeah, what was their uh, background of study? Yeah, right, maybe they read the same <laughs> books and they're like, oh, I'm piecing this together at the exact same time. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. we, yeah, no, I agree. I don't think that there's a giant mind that's, like, tapping into all yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't right? make, yeah, I wouldn't make that as a collective mind. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Or else there'd be more examples. Yeah, anyways. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but but so with that, right? So that's not the energy I'm talking about. Like energetically, I mean, like there's something in our brains, like the pattern recognition, mm-hmm. that's pushing us in these ways. And I think we're more. You know, they say like, oh, unique um, fingerprints are unique. I maybe they're not. Maybe it's like our brains were built through the environment like maybe there's only so many ways you can configure reality you, mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like if you have um if you have what, what's that thing where it's like how many combinations can you create out of these four numbers yeah you know like when you're trying to right, crack, right. crack a code yeah, 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 yeah right there's only one code yeah, yeah right and then you have like well there's nine options or ten options because zero to nine for each number you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like when you're trying to like yeah, yeah, yeah. algorithm right right code breaking yeah, yeah. so maybe there is just a set number of ways that this thing can play out and we're just connecting with people that well, connected the same way yeah and we tend to do that all the time if you see like uh like four these are like the four types of people yeah that's what i mean uh, yeah. yes 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 uh, yeah thank you yes yes why that's exactly what i mean yeah exactly yeah. And then you reminded me like zodiac signs um uh, type A, type B personality. Sure. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Why else would you be able to create these archetypes yeah. if everyone was truly unique? Then you wouldn't have patterns. Exactly. Yeah. Like this is all personality types, right? So they all fit. Personality types. Yeah. yeah. And they, the whatever INTF, whatever they call, it, you know, like that. No, it was INTF. It's just like like um, I don't know the exact. This is an abbreviation though. It's like uh, someone that's. Uh, intelligent nurturing yeah 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 something like that yeah. maybe it's like it's like it's like those types of words yeah, yeah, but that yeah. person is more foc- like more like yeah, a yeah, yeah. um or intimate person or like very uh, uh introvert type person or an extrovert type like like en or in it's like that, that, that kind of stuff it's like if we can fit it down into these categories then there must be a finite number of combinations <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah maybe but that's that's what i think it is yeah. i think that's the energetic layer that i'm talking about it's not mm-hmm. like maybe it's like like, it's like, like, like but you gotta think about it right? it's like like sp- specifically like your job right it's like yeah. who are gonna uh, look to apply for that kind of job right yeah they're gonna have some similarities it, right in thinking yep yeah, right 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 but on the superficial level like if you look like if you looked at us you'd be like there's no way these people right. get along yeah, 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 yeah like it's it's weird like right. the diversity is really there mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. but that's what we pride ourselves on diversity yeah for our like um initiative but but that drew people with that kind of configuration to be attracted to diversity mm-hmm. right so like one, one thing that on my linkedin um profile is like i forgot exactly the words but it's like dedicated to cr- like creating the most common good uh Dedicated to creating the, oh my God, I'm just going to pull it up. Because mm-hmm. it, it's, it's, it's interesting because I wrote this and then I saw, I added the indigenous dude to LinkedIn and I was like, oh my God, you have the exact same tagline. So, uh, hold on, give me a second. It yeah. is, okay, so my tagline is dedicated to creating the biggest positive in- impact for the most common good. Okay. And his tagline is 
passionate about making lasting contributions to humanity. So I was talking about creating common good. He was talking about positive impacts to humanity. Mm -hmm. We didn't know each other. We didn't add each other on LinkedIn. But how come we both wrote exactly the same kind of tagline? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that that I think that goes in that what I was saying with the whole like specific categories, right? Yeah. Of, of types of people. And I think yeah. we don't think about this. Yeah. Well, we we do those personality charts, but we're not realizing that there are other people that will fall in the same thing, right? Like where are you going to Yes, yes. Or we're not seeing it at a higher level. Like what does this actually mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like but I always But we're that, always though. looking I, I I agree with that. But I think I think that's why with the internet we're always looking for those types of groups that you like can I like um can, uh, feel a tendency toward. I don't know yeah, what, I I think the internet has made that much more easier to get to. Right. Uh, in a lot of, in a lot of things, right? Like I think with the work stuff it's like those are because you're and it's a specific type of job and a specific type of field you're gonna you're looking you know what i mean like you'll fall into that like that's a place where people make connections too. oh i see what you're saying yeah, yeah I, I see what you're saying like uh, how else do you put it just like the vibe of it attracted us yeah it's like a vibe attraction exactly tribe. yeah 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 well what would you what would you call that layer though because maybe that's like the wrong Work. You know what's really funny though? All right, so as on the last night when we were talking about this, I was just giving all the answers, right? And then, and then Tara asked me like, "Do you think you know everything?" And I'm like, "No, I know what I know, but I know when I don't know something, and then I figure that out." Mm -hmm. So us doing this right now, we're not giving each other answers. We're just like playing the game back and forth to figure out the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like if they heard that if they were in this, then they'd be like, "Oh, he doesn't know everything." But initial perception is because I was able to answer all of their questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, you must know everything. It's like, <laughs> no, I'm just like, I've just thought about it. Before, right, right, right. You know? But yeah, so what, what would you, what do you call that? It's not energy. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what the term is or if there is a term for that um, that may have existed. Maybe someone else saw the same thing. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. And, and the, that's the collective <laughs> consciousness. We just haven't read No, it. it's not. We just, yeah, but like people... Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's let's actually dive into that because if so like let's say we we debate this and then we figure out the I, answer I, I think i think that collective conscious thing is just an answer with, without like um it's like a uh what an do you call answer it to correlation yeah yeah it's like it's like um it's like with this is the current answer or like but we don't yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not the actual answer right it's just like this is the closest guess that we got right now right yeah yeah, uh, you're saying. yeah, of, yeah. but without really like you'd have to like go into it like study it like crazy i don't know <laughs> but but i feel like like there might be these words are there probably in like uh psychiatrists or like those types of people that oh that, that's, that actually that really, actually go into yeah, this yeah, field true. and they could see these they um, probably they pro other people have probably studied it yeah yeah but like it's a very um niche field that studied it you mean? well yeah i mean like those people that study it they, they would they would probably have a better um, view of the answer for that because they're they're meeting mm, these types of people yes or studying about these kinds of things so i would think that yeah, like, yeah, okay, like there's yeah, a reason why we have personality charts like where did that come from right yeah they, they would know the origin of those yeah, personalities. Yeah, 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 yeah totally yeah. yeah that makes sense y you know what's weird who would have created that who would have really realized that they're a pattern like no so like let's yeah, take yeah, yeah. zodiac signs right mm-hmm like we've been always looking for patterns. I, that's what I mean. That, that's but the who yeah. the hell would have wasted their time doing that? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's. It depends, right? It's if it's their life but, goal. But, or like, so, right? so how, I wouldn't say waste of time. It would be waste of time for us. Oh yeah, fair, 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 fair. Yeah, you're right. They would find that uh, like a worthy pursuit. Yeah, yeah. But like, think think about how you would have started that iteration. You're like, oh, you guys are very similar. When were you born? And like, or oh, both bo both born in the state. You're yeah, like, yeah. oh, that's interesting. And then you yeah. start writing that down, and then yeah. you start like collecting similarities according to birth times. Yeah. So someone was a scientist. In that time yeah, true. Thinking of these sort of things, yeah, and looking for patterns. Okay, my another question is: Do you think you? Okay, what do these patterns mean? Are they tendencies or are they who you are? So all right, wait, let, let me preface that again. So mm -hmm. it's like, um, are are they who you will 
be at the end of the day or are they your starting point? You know what I'm saying? Like you come in this world and this is your starting point and then you can change it. Or do you think you'll never change and that's who you'll be forever? I can't tell you the answer to that. No, but what, I, obviously you can't, right. but like what, what seems most logical to you? I think that's why the question of nature and nurture is there, right? What happens yeah. around you and what you're born with. Okay, so you believe that it's a starting point and then nature and nurture. I think there are things that could happen in your yeah, life maybe. that could, that could have, a, have an impact on you, yeah. Yeah, I, I'll agree. I agree with that one because I've read mine and I'm like, oh, I've, I've consciously changed those parts of me. Mm -hmm. Like, sure, it'll be like my starting point. Like, yeah. I'll always revert to it, but I can change it. Yeah, like, but no, you have no, to be able not... to acknowledge that, that that's there, right? That's the thing yeah. that the, the change is there that you want to do. We have to do that daily until it becomes routine. The habits. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's an interesting question, too. How do you know what you don't know? You, you know, you know, people like, um, like knowledge is power, but it's like, how can you not know what you don't know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a defeating question. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like, oh, you should educate yourself, but I don't know what I don't know. So it's like, what, how do we, it's how, like, do, how you, do you, how am I going to educate myself? I don't know what I'm, I don't know what to educate myself to. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Maybe that's where experiences come in. That's, that's the, yeah. If it, those are the random, I don't want to say random, but like the experiences that happen in life. Yeah. That if they happen in enough times that you question these things. Yes. Right. So I think that's, that's the whole nature aspect of it. Yes. Like, environmentally what's happening. Yes. Yes. They're, they're like, um, it's like new input. Mm -hmm. And then when you add that new input, you realize like, oh, I should probably learn more about this. Mm hmm so maybe that, that's what it is. We need to like, it's not about educating. Cause I feel like that's so limiting. We feel like you just educate yourself. Like to what, like, what does that mean? Yeah. Maybe it's like put yourself in circumstances where you, you are forced to educate yourself. Mm -hmm. But I think it all depends on what you want in pursuit of life though. Right. So okay, fair. Okay. Uh, true. <laughs> like, like we, like I just thinking like we go see a magic show, but we're just, oh, that's cool. But someone else be like, oh, I want to learn how to do that. Yeah, I want to become facts, a magician. Facts, facts, facts. <laughs> yeah, facts. It's like, what is pulling you? Yeah, totally. Like, interests. You, you know what's interesting? I was really curious to see how they were going to take this one. Because you and I talked about this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have to, we're creating this, like, um, like, module on inclusion. Okay. Right? And then as they were talking, I like to red pill people a lot and it's just fun for me. And then I went, that's impossible. And they're like, what do you mean? And I'm like, inclusion naturally creates exclusion. No, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah, you yeah, want yeah. true inclusion, inclusion shouldn't even be an issue. Mm -hmm. Right? Makes sense. And they were like, yeah, that actually makes sense. And that's when I started to be like, ooh, who am I dealing with here? Because mm -hmm. usually people are like, no, I know the correct way, blah, blah, blah. You know, like people are very stern on their opinion. But what do you mean? There's inclusion is a thing that in society we need to do it, whatever, whatever. But to like see it on a different level, it's like only certain minds can take that, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. To understand that we're just running around in circles. Right. You're, I literally said that. I'm like, you're just running around in circles by creating this program. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's like, what? what you're, naturally, you're going to exclude the inex, in, inexcluded, uh, the non-inclusive people. Yeah, yeah. So the people that don't want to be a part of it, you're excluding them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you aren't including everyone then. Right. But then I did say you can't Maybe create Maybe you should. A, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I was like, you can't create a business business out of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this more philosophical. Like we need to it's just put an asterisk on the inclusion. Part. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, totally. <laughs> and you, you want to know the real meaning? <laughs> Tell you, but you'll be in the fine print. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. So then, so I'm going to ask you something that started this whole conversation on the last day. Cause I thought it was so fascinating. Mm -hmm. How do you change the world? I was like, we're building this program that wants to make a difference. So let me ask you, how do you change the world? And they were like, what? Because I was like, well, somebody needs to start like yeah, yeah, yeah. the the game, right? Right. Right. So, but how well, I, I think how you change the world is just uh, it starts from um, like your own household. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. 
you were you were on this is why i think if the indigenous dude was here we'd all get along because he said the exact same thing as you and i was like you were the closest one because everyone was like oh you're gonna create this initiative and i'm gonna go do these things blah 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 and then like when he said maybe i just changed myself and i was like ah. yeah so so that so that's where it came from or i want to say like it came from him but he said it where it was like be the change you want to see gandhi yeah yeah, yeah it's, okay okay so i'm gonna take it one step further than gandhi you can't change the world. You can only change your world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I don't mean. I don't mean like you as a person. It's a perception thing. Mm -hmm. You can only change what you see and like are surrounded by, but you can't affect anyone else. I can never. No, no. You can never. Um, uh, it's not like hundred percent. Is what I mean is like uh, only no, 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 you sorry, are sorry, doing sorry. the change, right? Yes, yes, or keep going, keep going. If others want to copy you, they'll copy you or follow you, whatever. Right, right, right. right. But, but that's why it's a trick question because you can't change the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only change you. Yeah, your world. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's what, what I, I like, my first thought was like, what do you mean by world, right? No, no. Yeah, that's what, that's what the other guy said. <laughs> Wait, like, he was like, when I told him I was a trick question, he's like, well, actually, my first thought was, you know, hey, what world? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But, but it's true, though. It's like, but because you said household, right? And I'm like, but even if there are other people in your household, you really can't change them. Yeah, yeah. What I meant was, like, generally just, like, like you start you. the change. Yeah. That you, yeah. yeah. And you like, as in your own household. Like, you do that if they want to, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but, yes, yes. But you also have to let go of oh, yeah, caring yeah. about other people. Yes, yes, of course. But it seems so callous. Like, like listen to that. In order to change your world, you have to let go about caring about other people. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can only care about yourself. Because your care is what will change your world. Yeah, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I care more about you than I care about me, then I'm just going to be chasing you the whole time. Yeah. R right? Sure. And then my world won't change because I'm just trying to fix you. Mm -hmm. Right? And which is what I find a lot of people do. Yeah. You know, like, um, uh, you know, like, you like, you know those relationships where like, I will change them. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, right? And it's like, but you'll never change them mm -hmm. be because they are the ones making the choice, mm -hmm. right? But in forcing yourself to focus on them, you're losing your world. Yeah, yeah, you're not supposed to do it like that. No. Isn't that interesting, yeah, though? That's not, yeah, you got to look at your own um, well-being. <laughs> yes. First. Yes. Once you've hit that, then, you know what I mean? And then it's like yes. you're more happy with whatever's happening around you. Yes, 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 yes. And then if you're not happy, you'll change it because yeah. you care most about yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is the fallacy with creating any program that aims to change people. That's why I brought it up because they're about to write the program. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make sure that you know that this is the truth though, right? Right. Because like, whatever you write, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, we're not going to change anyone. Right. Generally, with the people with the program are the ones who are going into it thinking of changing or learning something new. No, 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 for sure, for sure. No, no, totally, totally, totally. You, you you can only create the invitation. You know the Matrix? You can only show them the door. They have to walk through it. It's like we're creating the invitation to walk through the door. Mm -hmm. But whatever comes out on the other end, that's on you. That's not on me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I have to of course, really, yeah. I have to let go of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was one of the biggest revelations personally. Mm. Because it's like you just have to let go of everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But it seems so nihilistic. It, yeah. Yeah. It, that's well. That's what right. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. But it's also liberating. You know, like there's always it, going back to Taoism, like the yin yang symbol. It's like yeah, it's positive, but there's a touch of negativity to that one. But that's why that's why that's um, you know, religion or God is very. Uh, Still prevalent and, and will still be prevalent in because they can't society they can't because it's it. more like no because no, you can God willing yes that's the phrase yes, inshallah yeah 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 and they see it in all clinic, all cultures right yeah the same thing so it's like that the change or whatever will happen it's it's the, there's, it, there's, it's more like it's not our fault it's the, that's yeah, what right 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 I I um uh inshallah you'll do this yeah yeah right God willing you'll do this yeah. But it's like you're just softening the blow for yourself psychologically. Yeah, but that's in a way I, I agree with that. But that's a way to. Uh, uh, it's like it's, it's protection, 
Yeah, right. Yeah, it, yeah, it is, yeah. no, it is yes, a method yes. of um, uh, healing and protection. Yes. Yeah. And, okay, so somebody asked me in that group, they're like, how come not everyone thinks this way or wants to hear the truth? Mm -hmm. And one person said it. I was like, I totally agree with you. It's scary. Mm -hmm. So so when they said it softens the blow, well, why do you need the bed? Mm -hmm. How deep can you go in consciousness? Like uh, consciousness being like this esoteric term of like philosophy. How How deep can you go? with the reality of the situation and it's like if you need inshallah go for it yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that's why it exists that's right? why it's still there but then as soon as you use it i'm looking at you i'm like okay that's as far as you can go mm -hmm. because your mind can't take the ultimate reality mm -hmm. which is unfiltered truth mm -hmm. right sure yeah yeah, yeah 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 you know what I'm saying? No, no, everyone's in different levels but yeah like yeah. we all need tools yeah, totally yeah. but like how deep can you go mm -hmm. is my question. Right, right. And I like to see how deep people can go. Like, I like to see how deep I can go. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe I can take certain things. Sure. But there's nothing that I've come across that I can't accept yet or, like, add to my knowledge base. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I even, like, here's a, here's a really good one. Was Hitler evil? I asked them that at the table. <laughs> yeah. and And they were like, yeah, of course. And mm -hmm. I was like... But if he won the war, we'd all be praising him right now. Yeah, you should go watch um, uh, no, that, uh, the show. I forgot yeah, the name. The astronaut now. one. Oh, the, the astronaut? astronaut one. No, no, no. Did no, he no. win the war? Not the astronaut. This is a different show. Oh, what? No, this is like they. Uh, it's on Prime. The man in the high castle. Yeah, isn't that the one where they go back in time or something? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different show. No, they don't go back in time. It's just like a different alternate. Alternate reality. Reality. But yeah. didn't you say like the twist is that they go back in time to change it or something? No, they try to go to other worlds. That oh, was like yeah, later seasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. is like, uh, that, that didn't yeah, really, yeah, yeah. It, it ended off with, I didn't like the ending, but like the beginning was people cool. were probably pissed. They're like, Hitler can't win. Yeah, because yeah. they didn't know how to solve that. Yeah, true, true. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> yeah, but okay. So, but I was also saying like from his perspective, Hitler's perspective, like the road to hell is paved with good intentions. He really thought he was doing the right thing. Sure. Like, I don't think any, because people are like, oh. No, I don't think anybody does anything. Exactly. For yes. evil. So, you, you know, you know, people are like, oh, there's, uh, so, so there's two paradigms. Wow, that's loud. Um, there's two paradigms in this world. Either you believe that people are inherently good, other, your people are inherently good. Everyone's good at their core. Yeah. That's one belief. The other belief is some people are good, some people are evil. Right? All right. You've heard that before? No. Like people are born either good or evil. Uh, I don't, that's not something that. Oh, uh, you've never come across. All right. So I hear that a lot. So Yeah, like, but that's because I think that's a religion based thing. I think probably. Most probably, yes. Yeah. Because there's no like evil. It's, exactly. All right. No. So I'm, I'm in the camp of everyone. Um, everyone is born good. Yeah. And what what I mean by that is like you might not do good actions, but in your head you're chasing goodness. Yeah, yeah. So Hitler really believed that the, his actions would help his people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But from the outside looking in, we're like, oh that's wrong. Mm. Right? Or like Putin. Uh, I wouldn't say outside looking, it's based on our perspective. There could be some people that are Hey, I, I, I said that, I said that. What about white supremacist? <laughs> and they're like, Oh yeah, true. They probably think he's great. So yeah. I'm like so what about their opinion, mm. you know? So, so yeah, so I think we're all chasing what we believe is good, but it's society, society collectively that's telling us we're wrong for a reason though. But that's all a social construct. That's all like not The societal real. changes, right? It, like what, what's exactly. good and bad changes in society. Yeah, because what is society is just a collection of minds mm -hmm. that like agree or disagree. Yeah. So then, like, what is this world we've built except, like, an illusion? Yes. R really, though, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like a, a, a good example is, like, I asked them this. If you're in the desert and the light turns red, are you going to drive through the red light even mm -hmm. though nobody's around? Or are you going to wait for it? And they're, like, they're having a hard time with that one. I'm like, yeah, but it's a social construct. Mm -hmm. There's, like the red light doesn't mean anything. You just believe it to mean something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to follow it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One person, their level of like 
depth was not as deep they haven't really thought about this and they were kind of freaking out and i was like okay we need to i need to like be a little jovial here because it's like listening to this like what we're saying right now you can take this the wrong way you know like wait if all is an illusion i could do whatever i want the yeah, like it, mass it, serial killers are yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah well they probably do think that. no they do yeah. yeah they probably see the truth and they're like oh i can play with this yeah yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. right yes so so yeah Dahmer, right yeah 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 i haven't finished it yet but yeah Right? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so so maybe it's not about maybe it's not about achieving world peace. It's about compromise. It's like I understand that you see yeah, the world peace. It's always about compromise. Right. But yeah. we're all people are shouting about freaking world peace. And I'm like, why are you asking for world peace? You can't you can't get it. No, 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 no. But the whole point of democracy you, was right. about the whole We all get a vote and Yeah, say, the whole point is compromise. It's yeah. always gonna be compromise. Yeah. You cannot go one way or the other. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. And you're dealing with the world here, right? And everyone, world is, uh, uh, like China has a different kind of politics. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, so, it's too big. Yeah. And they believe what they believe. Yeah. Like their, their ideas have become their identity. Exactly. And you, you're not attacking my idea. You're attacking me, bro. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Cause one guy, he like attacked my idea and I was like, that's cool. But it was like, because I don't identify with that idea. That's mm-hmm. just an idea. Mm-hmm. It can change. Yeah. You know? You're not like actually singling me out mm-hmm. for something. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people think they are when you're like, I think that's wrong. Right. Yeah. I think, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When these, that's the problem. Like when you know you've um, gotten to them, it's like when they stop I attacking the idea, but att- start attacking yes. you. Yes. 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 That's when you know you're you're done you've done your job. <laughs> yeah. You you, you you've you have ideologically lost that mm-hmm. other person. Yeah. Because yeah. you can't play this game anymore. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that if we all thought this way? Oh, I don't even know. Like like what if everyone thought this way? I don't know what kind of world that would be, but we're in the world that we're in right now. That's yeah. That's what I said to them too. <laughs> yeah, because we're gonna find people that are not gonna agree. We, we were talking about fate as well, like determinism. Yeah, and then one yeah. person's like, "Well, have you ever seen the movie Sliding Doors?" I'm like, "I know the concept where it's like they go through, like, just one thing changes and then two alternate realities, right?" And I was like, Th- that is a mind game you're playing with yourself. Mm-hmm. If only I did this. If only I'm like, but that's not reality. Yeah. That's like in your head. Right. And I start tapping the table. I'm like, this is reality right now. Mm-hmm. And then when I'm in my hotel room, when I'm in my hotel room, this won't be a reality anymore. Mm-hmm. But people attach to the reality in their heads more so than the reality of life. Like, have you noticed that? Like people are so focused on things that aren't actually in front of them. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what they say to be in the moment. That's exactly what being in the moment is. Is like, yeah. that's just all mind game. Like, the future isn't real. Yeah, yeah. Neither is the past. Like, yeah. literally, in this moment, is real. Exactly. And you can make a choice in this moment. Mm-hmm. Not really. Like, we're determined. But obviously, well, yeah, the yeah, illusion yeah. of a choice. Yeah, I, yeah. I always have to preface that because somebody here is like, see, you guys do believe in free will. It's like, no, we don't. But, like, <laughs> yeah. But okay, so, so, with that being said, I think that that's also well, that's a hundred percent why people have anxiety. Yeah, because they're so not connected to the now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's anxiety comes from the, the whatever they're thinking of the future or the past, whatever it is. Yeah. Right? So that's where they like, what's going to happen next? What's going to like? That's the yeah, whole, yeah, yeah. And and that intangible reality is so much more important than like current reality which is weird it's like you're are you losing your life Mm -hmm. do you know what i'm saying yeah yeah, yeah. because if you spend all your time in your head then you've completely lost this or no i don't know it's not that's i just think that this is what makes the world you, oh. you need all sorts of types of people. Yes. You need the people who suffer and the people that understand that suffering is yeah. self-created. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, fair. What is this thing that we're living in? You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems <laughs> so weird. <laughs> right? It seems so weird. When you really, like, break down what it is we're like. Obviously, at the end of the day, it's like, it is what it is. But if you think about the life that we live, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because another thing that really hit me was hearing about... Yeah, you were saying? It's... We're all animals, right? There are animals do certain things. Why do we do them? Or why do they do them? It's just what they have to do. Or, right, okay. It, so, or it's just what they're meant to do. So like us thinking and overthinking yeah, is just something that it's like It's are. like these wildebeest. That they just they travel a ton around, but they're just eating the grass. But they're just... Yeah. They're, just, they're not really thinking about that. They're just... I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So humans are just doing what humans do. Yes, I see. Yeah, totally. I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. But an, another layer to this too, you're totally right. An, but another layer, which is really weird, is that right now in this moment, people are living completely different lives than you. And I don't even mean like yeah. the person, like you can take it at a micro level of like our next door apartment neighbor, right? Mm-hmm. I have no idea what their life is like, but it's completely independent from mine. Mm-hmm. Take it to another level where you live. Yep. Like seeing Edmonton, I was like, whoa people live here and they love it Mm -hmm. it's like this would not be for me Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but in this moment they're waking up they're like i see i saw these people like on um a computer screen and we were working together right but to actually physically be in a location together it's way different because you're like like how do we all just wake up and work on this one project our yeah. lives are so different. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or like your cousins in uh, India, my cousins in Philippines. It's mm-hmm. like their lives are completely foreign to us and completely different way of life. And they're privileged to other things. Yeah. Like we're privileged to other things that they're not privileged to. Sure. I mean, it could go both ways. Yeah, totally. You're fair, 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 both ways. But it's scary. Because it's like, we don't live in an equal playing field. No. So going back to it, it's like, how does world peace become a thing? You you cannot. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't work. But being in this world of like nonprofits is like, I've seen so many people advocate for change. And I'm like, what change do you mean? You, you, I, I, think, I think that's the, so the world peace is too broad. Yeah, I, I think it has to be more uh, centralized, more like uh, specific. Like, let's change this topic. Let's yeah. change this topic. Yeah, yeah. And you got to push for that kind of thing. Push for more of that being noticed or heard or understood or taught to the world. But I think or it's talk local, to people. I think country. it's localized too, though. Sure. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, for example, um, you don't really see too many like trans people here. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll walk down the street. I, I will probably see zero. Okay. In our area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, there are pockets, but, like, if we walk down Young Street, Young and, um, Young and Shepherd to Young and Finch, you'll probably see zero. Yeah. Right? It's all Asians. Mm-hmm. But then when I was there, I was like, dude, they're everywhere. So it's like, how can we advocate for trans rights? Because what does that even mean? Because it's like, you guys seem like you have, like, pure rights here. Right. But I don't even see you guys around my area. Mm-hmm. So it's like, how can you advocate? How can you advocate for something that's not even directly affecting you? Sure. Yeah. And yet we're all advocating for it. Mm-hmm. Translates, translates, translates. Like, but what rights? To, like, what? What do they need? I don't even know. I don't mm-hmm. even know your plight. Mm-hmm. I don't even see you. Right. You know. Yeah. So how? L- like physically see you? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> fair. Yeah. But but you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like how do how do we all collectively agree on things that we aren't even affected by? Mm-hmm. You know, it, yeah, it's that education, our vote really matters. But, it's like, yeah, yeah. it's like if I lived in the suburbs, it's like, oh, there are no trans people here. All right, I don't want them to have rights. So my vote, why would my vote count relative to somebody who's like really being affected by mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's almost like. We, that's why it's more about local politics. Yeah, I guess it's, that's it's always we, local yeah. politics. Yeah. I don't think we should like 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 federal politics makes no sense. 
Federal politics is not to deal with citizens. It's to deal with international stuff, right? That's why I don't know. Like, generally, local politics doesn't get a lot of attention. But federal politics gets lots of attention. But, but okay, what about, like, rights? That's more of a federal thing, right? Um, it, no, if there's, like, you have to understand, like, where, like, what specific rights are we talking about, right? Okay. Uh, a lot of that things come down to local or provincial. Well, what about this? Like, um, something about, like, homeless people. Yeah. Like. That's not a federal issue. That's a provincial issue. Oh, okay. So we all deal with it differently. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You, you got to think of it. It's, it's very different. Okay, that's good to know. I, I think a lot of people don't understand how the structure works. That's fair. And, yeah. like, uh when you're going saying like this government needs to change this but they have no power it's, in doing that exactly like for instance I mean, like yeah. the healthcare thing healthcare thing is a provincial provincial uh they run the healthcare system in the, in the province not the federal government okay so you're going to ask the federal government for something they cannot even they're not even the system isn't set up for them to even be involved in that you're going to the right, wrong place right 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 you have right, to understand right. how the system works so it's more like when we get angry with the government it's like which government are you talking about yeah it's just easy to get wrong angry at the federal government because they're just the more popular one but yes. it's always local politics is where it starts that's fascinating yeah yeah see i didn't know that i didn't know like where they divide yeah, federal government line. doesn't have that's why it's like like, like even in the u.s is like three three levels of government what the president does and state that's why like uh states rights Right, that, yeah, those, are, yeah. those are different things, right? So it's like, but is that the same here? In Canada? it's sim similar, yeah. There's a lot. Of, that's what I'm saying. Is similar things are here too, yeah. Okay, but it, you have to understand how the structure works in right. order to able to know where you can make actual beneficial change. Because if you're going to speak yes. to the wrong person, you, they cannot do anything. Yes, 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 yes. Or getting angry at the government in general. Yeah, because I've heard that too. It's like people are so mad at the government, but are like. But why? Yeah. Why are you angry? Yeah, yeah. It's like getting mad at him for the let's just say uh, Trudeau for the uh, at the time with the COVID lockdowns. Yeah, he had nothing to do with the lockdowns. That was provincial. Oh, that's Doug Ford or like Alberta, their own. It's them. Interesting. Right. Only only thing with where where Trudeau would be is is actually at the border. Wow. That's federal politics. So why is he advocating to get the vaccine? No, but he's looking for a, for the citizens. That's all. Like he's not. He he can only just say that. No, no, I, it's I up know, to no, the individual. No, but right? that's what I mean. It's like, but when we talk about like vaccine mandates, we look at Trudeau. No, he he can only procure the vaccines. He cannot. No, no, it's no, up to the provincial government how they run the vaccines. You, you mean like lockdowns and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Totally. Totally. But if you looked at social media, everyone was blaming Trudeau. Yeah, but that's because they don't understand how the politics works. It's not him. Exactly. He has no control in how how they're uh how yeah, how the lockdowns run so you know what's interesting it's like it's like in the, in the u.s too it's like new york was in lockdown but florida was open at the time yeah yeah, yeah totally but that's it's not the, nothing to do with the federal government that's to do with the state run so you should be more mad at ford yeah for lockdowns yes. than you are at trudeau yeah so okay so that's interesting because it's like going back to what you how do you know what you don't know mm -hmm. so it's like people who are getting angry at Govern, government yeah, 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 yeah. it's like you didn't even know that you didn't know yeah. that governments didn't work that way <laughs> yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like ignorance is something we can't overcome right that's why a lot of things can't happen if change is not happening we were speaking to the wrong guy yes yeah, yeah, yeah. that that's a scary thought it's like you can't know everything yeah that's true so then how do you make a judgment call on anything it's almost like you can only say things you're very certain. You can about. only make judgment calls on what you know. That's all. But so how many? People so that's that's why like uh, you have to be based on our current knowledge. That's all you can say. But how many people will fight tooth and nail for something that they don't know fully? You is so we have to add based on our current. No, knowledge. no, 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 no. For, yeah. Like you and I would say that. Yeah. But yeah. a lot of people would not say that. Is what I mean. Uh, I, yeah, I think if you're in a science background, that's what you, they are generally saying. But our, but not everyone is. So it's like our world is. I, I think in, in depends on where you're coming from, right? So like, uh, I, I think as a science person would say that, 
but not a person that's not of science doesn't know, understand that, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, our world yeah. is made up of all these types of people. Exactly. Yeah. So going back to it, it's like so that's where you rely on what you know and don't know. So if your study or if your uh, um, expertise are not in science, you should not be speaking about it. Fair, fair, but people will. But what what I'm trying to get back at is like well, in, in, I'm talking about in like in like public figures, but like oh, people see, see. will. That's all freedom of speech. You say can say whatever they want. For sure, for sure. But that's that goes back to the idea that you can't change the world mm -hmm. because it's like. People will fight as the matrix. People will fight tooth and nail for the matrix. Remember, mm -hmm. like you can't um, you can't free their mind after a certain age. Sure, yeah, because yeah. it's dangerous, mm -hmm. right? And then there are also people who like fight to keep the system the way it is. It's like those are those people. Mm -hmm. We we really are all right. So we don't live in like the technological. We, that's what it's like. We have we live in a world of compromise. We have to live in a we world have of compromise. Live in that's how, that's how it works. Yeah, but literally, we can't. Or you have to be a dictator. Yeah, that, that. Oh my god, that's so funny that you said that. I don't think you read my. I'm sure you didn't read my um my tweet about that. But it's like you have to. The only way world peace is possible is if we're just robots. We yeah. we stop thinking. Right. And we just follow a dictator. Yeah, yeah just yeah. follow the correct thing. Exactly. You'll have world peace that way. Yeah. You know, because I mean, no they know thought. how to do it. They, that's what they do. That's what North Korea does, right? For like, sure. Yeah, yeah. It's, like when, it's not peace for the people, but it's like harmony within the country because yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. I can make you all do whatever I want. Yeah. But in order to give freedom to people, you can't. Like, freedom is like the opposing end of world peace. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean? freedom comes with compromise. That yeah, it has to. Yeah. Yeah. But world peace. Requires. But progress is generally slow with compromise. That's how it facts. Is. Yeah. 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 What? What time is it? Oh, eleven. Oh, uh, it's been fifty-one minutes. Fifty-one. Okay, that's not bad. Um, okay, let, let me like switch topics a bit. Um, just in the interest of time, I was I was watching Limitless by Chris Hemsworth, and one thing that he said, and I was like. Uh, one thing they said that I was like experiencing is um, movement. We are now. We don't get. We don't stop moving because we get old. We get old because we stop moving. And I'll, mm. with that, okay. So you hear that esoterically, yeah. And you're like, oh, maybe. But as somebody who's constantly moving, like, because especially because I work out from home, I'm like. I'm actually like shadow boxing all day or like doing some pull-ups, like just always moving. Right. And that was the first time like this past week where I had to sit in a chair for eight hours <laughs> every, cause we were just brainstorming and it was like, not even just sitting. It's like sitting still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after day one, the middle of my back started to seize up and I was like, what the hell is this? You know? Yeah. And then I was like, talk, but it was perfect timing. I don't know how that worked, but I was watching Limitless at the same time as experiencing this. Mm -hmm. So it clicked really well for me. Right. Knowledge plus experience. And then the guy that, that was there, he was like, like sitting next to me, he's like, how do you feel? Like, I'm still a little sick. Like, you can probably hear it, but I was getting really sick while mm -hmm. I was there mm -hmm. and I was like oh dude I feel really bad I took so many meds and I'm like whatever and he's like oh why do you think you're sick is it the cold I'm like no it's sitting still because my body can't move like the mucus around or like move sure. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. movement really is mm -hmm. medicine for yeah. the body it's like your body will seize up and and I I liken this to exercise so when you're sitting still you're essentially holding an isometric exercise meaning no movement yeah, yeah, yeah. for eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. So another person was like, she's like, Oh, in the last two months I, I went to a chiropractor and a doctor. And I was like, why? And she's like, the top of my back is starting to seize up. And like, I have these crazy knots and I'm like, do you move throughout the day? And she's like, no, I sit like on my computer. And I was like, I really think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You're holding like, let's say a plank yep. is an isometric exercise. Imagine holding the plank for eight hours a day that's going to tax your muscles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then you'll have stronger muscles in some parts and weaker muscles in other parts. Mm -hmm. Right. Rather than like balance. And then again, going back to that line about like, we don't 
stop moving because we get old. We get old because we stop moving. Mm -hmm. I really think that's true. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Do you, do you feel it too? Like, do you have aches? Because you sit like way more than I do. But I, I do do walk around. I don't just sit when you're at the thing. But yeah, you don't yeah. you don't have like pain. I don't know. Because like they're like, oh, jujitsu, you must be in so much pain. I'm like, I am in pain, mm -hmm. but it's not the same type of pain. It's like. I'm, it's an overuse pain. If I just stopped, I'd be fine. Mm -hmm. But it's not like it's not like a back seizing thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. No. You yeah. you don't find the the aches or anything? No, I don't find the aches in that sense. The only thing I could think about was like uh like if I fell asleep on my bed with the iPad on me, if I'm not so generally I move in my sleep. Okay, yeah. So if I if the iPad's on me and I fell asleep, my body's not gonna move. And then when I wake up, oh, it's yeah. like in pain. Yeah, it's, it's like it's I can mean. feel it. Like, oh, I knew I didn't. That, that's I why didn't my move back was hurting. I was yeah, like, yeah. oh, I didn't move. I literally yeah. held this position yeah. Yeah. for the whole day. Right. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing I can think of because I don't really. I do move around. Like, I do get up. I like. Oh yeah, because yeah, yeah, you have to like do like the um, hand yeah. And thing. I just go check and see what's happening in the lab. So it's like right. Okay. Okay. Fair. So fair, it's fair. not like I'm sitting eight hours. Right. Okay. So you know. So this really made me think about like when people are like. um this office life is killing me. It's like mm -hmm. nine to five. It yeah. really is killing yeah. people. Yeah. People who work in a cubicle and don't move, the, you're, and, you, and you wonder why mm -hmm. you have all these health issues. It's really because you're just not moving. Yeah. Movement really is medicine. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And, and like movement. I mean, is, yeah, we're meant to move. Right? That's what I mean. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we're born. We created this society where it's like, don't move. Yeah. 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 I I would have hated to like. That's why we're trying to do like ergonomic chairs or this thing. But that's but like, still that's like, just a band aid solution yeah, yeah, to yeah. what you need to do. You know what exactly. I mean? Yeah, it's not like to. It's not to remove chair. It's to just adjust the chair to be. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then even if you try and like, some people are like, oh, I'll just do like exercise like after work or whatever. It's like sure, but you're still holding an exercise for eight hours a day. Yeah, I think like you shouldn't be. Uh, I think you saw this on Apple Watch too. It's like you're sitting too long. It'll oh, tell you to stand up. Yeah, but some like, people are not allowed to do that. That's what I mean. It's like your job actually makes you sit there. No, no, no. I know, I know. I'm saying like that's like these are not good things to be just sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is what like the most high, highly paid people do. They just sit there. Mm -hmm. Right? Like yeah, cub yeah, yeah. cubicle, like office, like people who work in like these really intense jobs, like. You're, or like, let's say a lawyer, even mm -hmm. you make a lot of money, but you're reading cases all day. Yeah. You're not moving. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or like coders mm -hmm. code, like software engineers. Yeah. You're sitting there for hours. You're for not hour. moving. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. it's like, Oh, why do I have carpal tunnel? Why do I have, you, you, you heard of like carpal tunnel, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's just overuse of the tendon. Mm -hmm. So it's like, cause you're typing all day. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, you're doing one exercise too long. Mm hmm. Yeah, weird. Yeah, I think yeah, putting staying in one spot for too long is not good. Like you were, you, you you should be getting up, moving, or at least walking around. Like you're doing something. Yeah, and then come back. Like you're not, you shouldn't be sitting there for eight hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's scary to me, like to see it. Yes, and that's that's yeah. Yeah, a lot of the society in today. Yeah. You know what's crazy too? Like, so food is fuel for the body, right? So if you fuel the body and then you're sitting for eight hours, it's like, where does that fuel go to? Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're, you're creating more than you need. You could probably just sit there and like not eat for a few days, like Buddha. If your job is just sitting yeah, in it, yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, your yeah. body doesn't need calorically that much energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet we... It's all in how much you're outputting. and Yeah. But we're... I don't know, it's, just, it's more evidence to the fact that we've essentially killed ourselves or like mm -hmm. we're, we're going to kill ourselves. Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of things that will happen, um, that there's more people sitting today than ever before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, our last thing, speaking of sitting, you got the VR thing well uh, no, pre-ordered yeah, yeah pre-ordered pre -ordered. uh so what are you excited about what's so great about it go i'm um, just uh it'll be my first time experiencing vr oh, so. wait what's the difference between vr and um 
like the one you got and like Oculus and like all that stuff. No, it's just connected with PlayStation. So with a lot of their, their they'll have games for that kind of thing out, right? So I believe they're they have Horizon Zero Dawn as one of the launch games. So you're gonna be oh, able really? to yeah. So like um like one of those like giraffe type robot creatures. So you're gonna be like looking up and like oh that's actually that big. So wait, so are you? How does it work? Is it just your visual? It's a visual thing, yeah. But are you walking? You can walk, yeah. So you can set, I believe, um, since the cameras are on the outside yeah. uh, of the uh, headset, you can set your boundary so you don't cross. So you're, uh, you're literally... You can make an invisible boundary, I believe, and then you, you'll be, you can walk in that space. And but then how do you run? No, that's not going to be... You still in need that. to control if it? You're gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. If you're going to run and stuff, you'd need to hold by that whole other set. But they don't sell that, though. It's like a, okay, yeah, yeah. Like a, like like a platform like that... Like Ready Player uh, One type Yeah, kind of like a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have those, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, you can get those things, yeah. Okay, so you're primarily going to use it for, like, controller plus VR headset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Horizon Zero Dawn will be really interesting to... Um, experience with that because yeah i've never world. i've never put on a vr headset so it'll be interesting to see that's so that's so fascinating that in all this time you've never never experienced it yeah, yeah. What, i would yeah what if you get motion sickness like that would suck for you <laughs> you're like oh, uh, wait, you can always this return these things so. okay fair 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 or sell it because it's, oh, it ends up being too hard to find then <laughs> yeah true you make more money off of it but okay so in terms of differences there there was like so H- yeah, sorry so this one has like because you know the controller has the haptic stuff yeah so, again, so yeah. it has the haptic stuff on the headset as well as the controller so you I, I don't know how exactly it'll work i don't know if it's like if you're, a bullet is whizzing by you you're gonna feel that or that'd something be so cool that'd be interesting yeah. yeah whereas other vr sets don't have that because like the first one was htc vive yeah, yeah but yeah. that was like you're just hit, like connecting your phone or something Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, HTC Vive is an actual headset. I think there's like there's like there's one just for the like you put your phone in there. Yeah, so that's like that's like a basic VR. Yeah. basic headset. Yeah. It's not real, real VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's the Oculus. I've never tried that one. I've tried the Microsoft one. No, I think you tried the Oculus. I think it was maybe HTC Vive. Or the Oculus. No, I tried, I tried the phone one. I tried multiple because we were going around. Yeah, no, no, no I'm saying the yeah. one at Microsoft it wasn't Microsoft's one. That was an oh. Oculus or HTC Vive one. Wait, is HTC Vive the one with the not, phone? Not the phone. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Did I try the Oculus then? Which is the one I don't with the two know. controllers? You can have both with two controllers. Oh, okay. No, I mean, remember it's like. Two yeah, 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 I know, joysticks? I know. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. don't know if it was Oculus or the other one. But it was one of those actual headset ones. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, so because Microsoft doesn't have a headset out. Oh, okay, okay, interesting. It was just at the Microsoft store. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. So that was that was fascinating. But the problem I saw was you need to build your computer. In yeah. Way, so that's that's like, the thing, right? I'm just using the PS5. Yeah, it, which is great. Yeah. 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 So then, that's why I, and it's using less it, uh, peripherals than when than in the first version of the the VR, right? So, peripherals meaning, meaning like camera or like oh, sensor yeah, bar yeah. Or that kind of stuff you Wasn't, just need the headset you just need the headset and that's just like a wire to connect it to the ps5 that's it that's cool yeah i don't understand why you would go with like non adaptive like non-ecosystem products like we go playstation just get the playstation one well, I think generally most people do do that, right? They will, they're generally the ones that sell the most. All right, so you, you said that, and I was like, I agree with you. I think people in the tech world would get that. So while we were there in um, in Edmonton, a student bought AirPods, and I was like, yeah, they're amazing, right? You just open your phone, and then, like, your phone get connected. Everybody. He's like, no, no, I have the Samsung. So I was like, so why did you buy the AirPods, bro? Um, he has an iPhone? No, he has a Samsung, and he bought AirPods. Oh. I was like, why would you do that? They work. I, yeah, they will work as Bluetooth. But it's like, <laughs> why would you, do that? you just lost the convenience. The whole reason why. Why don't you just buy the Samsung one then? 
because uh, he asked me first what I thought of the AirPods. I thought he had an iPhone, so I was like, these are amazing. Like, they're the best <laughs> things I've ever bought. I think the first question should have been, are you on an Android or an Yeah, iPhone? I assumed because I was like, well, you're asking me about them. Like, but that's what I mean. So when you're, well, I was like, why would you get the non-ecosystem product? Like, but it wouldn't course. work though, right? It, the PSVR one's not going to work with anything else. Oh, really? You can't use like an Oculus or anything with that? You can't no. use it. You can't plug in a different. No. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, well, they've made that question easier for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind that. No, no, no. I, I, if you're saying like that, there are options. Uh, sure. I was just confused. I was like, well, I mean, you I mean, have Apple to keep it in the ecosystem. Like, what? I get it, but Apple still made it work with the Bluetooth, right? So they did, but it's like to get the real power. No, I think it's in a way that like, what Apple's doing is like, yeah, to get the real power. Here's a cool device. Get the real power, get an iPhone. Too. Oh, so it's like an entryway into yeah, yeah, iPhone. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what would this be like yeah. with a... Like, it's not like like Apple Music is on Apple, but they also have an Android version. Right, 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 right. And you're like, oh, you know, it'd be even better if you just had this. Yeah. So it's yeah. It's, it's even iTunes. iTunes was on, on both, right? It's right, more about right. having more people on the thing, and then you'll, you'll get convert, people to um, convert. So. Yeah. That makes sense. I, I'm just like of the adage of so like you're you're like telling him like oh the convenience I don't know if you, did you explain it like yeah, that I was like cause yeah. I thought so maybe his next phone's like, gonna be an iPhone oh yeah fair 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 so yeah, true, it true, worked true. he's like well, it could work as great as you said I'm like well, it's because you have a Samsung bro <laughs> like I thought you had an iPhone trade that in and get an iPhone yeah because <laughs> so yeah. like, so I, I was like I was like isn't it amazing you just open the thing and then like you'll see it up here and he's like no. But the thing with Apple is Apple's really good at marketing, right? So mm -hmm. they reach, their reach of marketing is much more better than Android or any other devices, other devices. Mm, like yeah. In general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like it's the most consumer friendly. Yeah. The, okay, the only thing, though, I can say is like... I mean, I think that, did he just buy it online or did he go to the he, Apple store? No, there's a huge sale. Even right now, there's a huge sale for it. Okay. Like $130 off. Okay. I mean, yeah. generally, the question should be, like, does this work with my phone? I think that should have been, like... But I think he's, like, oh, it would work. But I'm if it didn't work, then it's, like... Yeah, I know, I know, but, it, like, if it didn't work, like, generally, it's an Apple AirPods. Yeah. You have a, you have a Samsung phone. Yeah. <laughs> Where was the... That, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. I was confused. <laughs> I was, like, yeah. Anyways. But to be fair, though, I don't use all ecosystem Apple products because you brought up Apple Music still spotify's better like, sure uh for me for me yeah no no right i'm not saying that it's not they were the ones in there first right yeah yeah, yeah. so they've like created the best internet. but as yeah. soon as apple is still it's like and they have it in, in 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 um in all the devices right it's like they have a computer version they have a yeah, yeah so yeah. like apple doesn't have all that yet they're still in yeah. the beta version for the computer so there's still a lot more things that um Apple needs to iterate on but to get there. It totally, totally. So, like that being said, it's not about being like an Apple fanboy. It's like, what is the best tech? Mm -hmm. And Apple, by far, is the best tech. So, like, keep within their ecosystem. But if there is a better product out there, like, yeah, definitely get it. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, like, I have a PC, <laughs> but that's like strictly gaming. Like you, oh, or like recording and these yeah. sort of things, right? So it's like. Like, yeah, I don't have another Apple computer. <laughs> but but you, also, that's like a use case, right? Like, it's a use case thing, yeah. I was using it for gaming. Yeah, Apple's not good at gaming, apparently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. so it's like, yeah, wow. I wasn't going to go buy an Apple for, yeah. for gaming. So it's not, it's not about, yeah, again, it's not about being a fanboy. It's about what's the best product to serve yeah. my need at the time. And typically, ecosystem products are the best. Yeah. Because they're meant to work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Anything else? No. Um, are you, when are you getting the VR, you said? Well, that's not coming until February. Oh, so it's like a while. It's, oh, so you want to get that? a few months away, yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool to see like Call of Duty or like the video game. They'd have to make it for a VR. Oh, really? Oh, so there's it's not It's not like you just put on a thing and you play a game in VR. Oh, You really? have to have VR games. Oh, I thought they were all like compatible. Like, no, like no, instead no, it's of using never like the that. mouse, I thought it was just the head. You know, like GTA Five and the no, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't know. Um, they, I mean, they could make those things available if they do it, but mm, it's up to them to spend money to make so, that. So, what are the VR games that can come out? Like, what are like VR compatible? Um, right now, or the ones that are there's a bunch of games that already are out for the previous VR, right? So okay. that that is always going to be compatible. Yeah, 
but the new ones are coming out. They're just announcing them. So, like, I, I know the Horizon one is there. Then there's, um, there's this, uh, I forgot the name of the game, but I already have that game. So they're, they're doing a free VR update for that too. So Okay. I forgot the name. It's like some space thing. So it's like two games so far. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it'll definitely grow. Sure, of course. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I'm excited to see what you think about it. Yeah. All right. Um, so like we talked about in the beginning, not sure logistically if you'll have everything set up by next week. So we may or may not have a podcast, yeah, but yeah. we'll, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Till next time. Take it easy. Peace. Bye. All right. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all those fun things and check out our sponsors, Zenro Clothing Co., Portion Bakery and Podbean. Take it easy, fish. Peace.